welcome everyone thanks a lot for joining us today we'll be sharing you some insights around business imperative challenges and what our customers are facing and how we can help them to solve those with us with me today i have anshuman tiwari who is sales lead for enterprise customers with one of our most prestigious partner cs he has worked very closely with our digital native customers and will be joining us today to share his experience anshuman over to you hey thanks a lot uh, for having me saurabh i'm really excited to speak about two of my favorite topics digital natives and technology the internet penetration in india has gone up from only 7.5% in 2010 to almost 15% in 2020 with this drastic adoption of technology smartphone penetration in india has gone up by almost 9 times which currently stands at almost 600 million This has caused an increase of 7x in the number of startups in the digital native ecosystem and currently ranks at 50000. Just in 2020 alone, Indian startups raised more than 10 billion dollars in funding and this was not only by local investors but global investors. In media and entertainment, there are growing OTT platforms and enhanced requirement for customers for do it yourself content predominantly delivered over mobile native applications. financial services and insurance is seeing a growing army of fintechs and insurtech companies driving innovation retail cpg and e-commerce is witnessing increased customer adoption for online shopping not just for non essentials but also for essentials also b2b e-com companies such as oran misho and moglix have become mainstream and are here to stay for a longer run healthcare pharma and life sciences has seen online consultation as well as e-pharmacy become mainstream There are four key areas where we have seen digital native struggle. First is infrastructure. They deal with cost, complexity, management issues, security and high latency. Next is application development and modernization, which is the key channel for customer acquisition and engagement. Scalability, developer efficiency, managing trade-off between infra and focusing on the core code, zero downtime and an enhanced time of market are some of the problems plaguing this particular patch third is data and analytics here the problem is with creating data pipelines for a 360 degree data integration deciding between stream versus batch data processing and also availability of multi tech resources and lastly ai and ml the time to market has always been a problem here innovation was a state of the art ai and ml model implementation building versus adopting argument and again similar to data resources are at a crunch to be able to work across technologies this is where partners such as cs come into play with experience of over two decades helping digital natives globally we have been recently awarded the coveted title of apac partner of the year for google cloud and we also hold the managed services provider status with gcp we help organizations solve their infra issues by leveraging strong capabilities across cost optimization giving or ensuring migration best practices innovating for scale on gcp and best in market security practices be it across command center or zero trust security applications on the app modernization side cs helps companies move to a serverless architecture augment and optimize devops capabilities set up ci cd pipelines and develop on cl- cloud native environment this eventually helps enterprises to be future ready for a multi cloud environment on the data and ai side we help companies derive business insights from data by executing their warehouse and data lake migration we take up projects across modernization business intelligence and stream analytics cs has deep engineering teams which help digital natives augment their capabilities on ai and ml in the past we have leveraged modularized models such as dialog flow doc ai vertex ai cc ai as well as in house saas products of sears such as recognic.ai and invoice to help our organizations scale their ai capabilities faster let me start off with pickme which is a sri lankan brand that provides mobility solutions through an app they had difficulty with scaling and friday evening traffic surges were a massive problem for them sears implemented consolidated servers and services to arrive at a multi tiered highly available and scalable architecture on google cloud this resulted in reduced latency by 10x 
with a much more reliable infrastructure for them. Rapido is another such success story. Now, Rapido is a mobile app-based two-wheeler traffic service operating across more than 40 cities in India. They had a challenge of building a scalable platform to meet the growing user base across tier one and tier two cities. Sears enabled Rapido to leverage the scalability of the platform to cater to the growing demand. This led to an optimized platform helping them manage 5 million orders on a monthly basis. And lastly, Nolscape, a digital end-to-end -end learning and assessment platform. Nolscape had the issue of reduced developer productivity, causing difficulty to iterate faster on the core product. Sears migrated 25 different applications to GCP by deploying the application layer on Kubernetes engine and its database on Cloud SQL. While using PubSub and Firebase, to compare and verify information in real time across most of Nolscape's applications. This helped to increase the throughput by 8% to provide almost immediate insight for customers while improving the latency time by 11% to run application faster at that scale. Thanks a lot, Anshuman, for covering the perspective of digital native customers and industry in such a detail. Now, there are top three areas of concerns for any digital native customers. Number one, velocity but getting the products to the customers at the earliest is the top priority for any of the digital native customers second innovation now creating a differentiated experience for the end customer is also they would definitely would like to have and third and most importantly growing the market share with more and more customer acquisitions firstly and most importantly simplifying cloud native application development now it helps digital native developers build, run, and operate with purpose-built tools for the containerizing microservices for the applications what they're deploying for their end customers. Also, it is completely enable them to insulate the entire team of developers from the manual task of deploying containers and managing the infrastructure. So they can focus on more important tasks like writing business codes, embed security, throughout the software development tools is definitely one thing which is going to help them reduce risk in the productions and eliminate reliance on infrastructure and reducing cost and achieving operational efficiencies are definitely are the key benefits which they will get with that now secondly delivering winning customer experiences how they will do that now by unlocking the powerful insights of their data with Google's ongoing innovations in smart analytics and AI ML. With us, customers can really optimize performance with managed scalable databases so you can focus with your customer needs and not on the infrastructure. Ingest, store, process, and analyze petabyte scale of data in minutes is the capability what they will be getting it by choosing Google Cloud as a platform for their analytical needs and seamless integration with open source tools, what they're already possessing is cherry on the top. Now, most importantly, getting ahead of the competition with industry leading AI ML services that do not require any AI expertise in house. So definitely it is the benefit what they always look for. Now third, which is very near and dear to my heart is day two operations. So day two operations are not at all easy. Our customers would like to operate and scale with confidence that can protect their assets with a secure by design global network by 99.95% of availability using the same secure by design infrastructure that Google uses to protect your critical assets, extending your reach by choosing a private global network that provides a 1.4 times of greater reliability compared to the public internet. Now deliver top application performance on this kind of a network and having an industry leading 99.99% availability is the thing what they will be getting it using Google Cloud as a platform.